years. I've been at Pixar for 21 years. So I was there uh, starting in early 1981. Before Pixar really existed, there was a group working for George Lucas at Lucasfilm, um, working on George's dream of using computer graphics to improve uh, filmmaking. And we worked there for five years before Steve Jobs bought Pixar from George Lucas, and then I've been at Pixar for um, 16 years now. Lui et moi, on est comme des frères. Quite honestly, the company had a difficult time for the first five or six years. We sold hardware, we sold software. There was always a, a small animation group. So John Lasseter had been hired in in 1984. Every year, he and three or four others worked on a small film for SIGGRAPH. Uh, his film, Luxo Jr., was nominated for an Academy Award, and then in 1988, his film Tin Toy won an Academy Award. And that was really the, the turning point. Oh, ça, j'y crois pas. Bon. Je suis passé à la télé. We have, on, um, on Monsters, we have 50 times more computing power than we had on Toy Story 1. So over a six year period, we go from whatever it is, a uh, 1,000 machines to 50,000 machines. Um, when we are starting up Monsters, it's part of my job to understand four years later when we're doing the production just how far to, that we can push the state of the art. Pete Docter had this idea of a film about a monster and a small child. And this idea that there are monsters in the closets, there are monsters under the bed, and that somehow this child gets into the, uh, the monster world and um, something happens, you know. That, that's the story, that's the core story idea that's always been with the film. When I, um, when I started, it was clear to me that because Pete wanted a large monster with fur all over his body, and because the girl is wearing uh, bed clothes or t-shirt or pajamas or, or some clothing, that that fur and the, um, and the clothing were the two big problems for us to solve. You ask the question by, by saying that each of the films is a, is a technical challenge, and that's really not how we approach it. There is a story group, there is a story idea, and all Pete Docter wants, all John Lasseter wants, they just want a great film. Super, le plan avec ça, on est bien avancé. Early on, the group is very small, and really the idea in pre-production is to have a relatively um, um, good-sized story team, uh, writing storyboards and creating the whole film in, in storyboard fashion. The art department, meanwhile, is working on pre-production art in order to figure out what does Sullivan look like? Is he, is he uh, mean? Is he silly? Is he strong, heroic? You know, what, what, is his, what is his shape? What does he look like? <laughs> you need to understand that every bit of motion that we have produced for previous films, so when, uh, for example, when Mr. Potato Head is walking along the, uh, the floor in Toy Story, Every bit of that motion is created by the animation department. The, um, the animators at Pixar are very good at putting emotion onto the screen, putting performance into, the, into these characters, uh, personality, and getting these characters to act. Final Fantasy is a terrific technical achievement. I'm, I was completely impressed, and certainly Part of our job is to build characters and to, you know, put skin on characters and to shade characters and light characters and um, now put, put hair and clothing on characters. Um, the images I saw in Final, Fan in Final Fantasy are terrific um, as far as being, being visually convincing. It's the acting, though. I think what the audience really wants to see is the, the nuances of, of, and the appeal of, of personalities on the screen. And the goal at Pixar 
is, is much more to take a character like Woody and Buzz and to create acting on, out of them. It's not whether they are visually realistic enough to be uh, actual living object. Chez Monstre et Compagnie, l'avenir vous sourit. J'ai une pêche ce matin. <laughs>